Our next shop we're going to be reviewing today is Dean's Gifts. And this is from Debbie. Um, could even be the Debbie I was just talking to, Debbie Stewart. I'm not sure though. All we've got here is Debbie. So Debbie has, let's see, D and Gifts, um, handmade gifts, the site for budget wise handmade items. Okay. So she's been on Etsy since 2010, long time, and she's got 77 sales. Let's see what she's got selling here. So she's selling vintage necklaces and medallions. Those are cool. Wow. I actually bought a necklace like this just the other day for my girlfriend, but don't tell her yet. I haven't given it to her. It's a secret. It's a secret. Anyways, uh, let's look at these one accent panels. So that one's unavailable. Well, I will go back and I will look at some of Debbie's available items. So let's see this one right here. Fall embroidered table runner. I like this. This is clever. Um, there we go. This is, I'm always telling people they should have a ruler on their product so you can see exactly how big it is. And there we go. Debbie's done a great job. And I can see instantly this table runner is 16 and a half inches wide. So smart on that. I like that. Nice and easy and clear. The photos are nice and clear. Now, looks like this is more like a placemat. Is this a placemat or a table runner? Because it doesn't look that long. Hmm. Well, let's go over to the description. 16 by 33. 16 by 33. Okay, so great for a great two for one table topper. Okay. So I, is it a table runner or is it a placemat? I guess it's a table runner. You say table runner. It looks more like a placemat to me. So that's why I'm a bit confused, but you're the expert, not me. Um, now with these photos, I feel that these photos are, it's good to have some photos that are nice and close up. Like this is a great photo. You, you, you show off the, you know, the details. I can see the small flowers there. I can see the embroidery of the, of the leaves and all of that. And it's very pretty, but I, I, I'm struggling to get the full view, the full picture of this. So another a few photo ideas that I'm thinking of off the top of my head is it would be nice to see this on an actual table um, with a place setting. That would be gorgeous. You know, if you put this on a table and you showed the place setting of the, the knife, the fork, the spoon, the cup, the plate, you know, all of the little pretty stuff um, that would allow me to see the full view of what this item is supposed to look like and how it's supposed to be presented. So first suggestion there, get a photo showing the whole place setting, stage it so that they can see how beautiful Beautiful this is going to look like with all of the stuff on the table and how nice it's going to look, especially if this is for a smaller table, then it would give me that idea, right? And then another photo, you should have a photo um, just showing the whole item edge to edge because all of these photos here, this one's cl the closest one. You know, we've got this edge and this edge, but the bottom edge is still cut off and I can't really see the entire thing. Um, which I know, I, I I mean, I'm sure I can put that information together in my head and I can get the idea of what it all looks like. Um, but I'm a little OCD. I like to see the whole thing. You know, before I buy something, um, if I was looking at this, I would probably look through these photos about 20 times and I'd be like, okay, this one shows almost everything, but it's still cut off at the corner. So I think it's really good to have a picture of your entire product completely inside the picture with nothing cut off so that you can see the whole thing um, and not have to wonder. Now I see that this is the backside. Also the orientation of these photos. These ones should, I feel they should have been rotated because this one is, you know, vertical. Um, and, and I feel like I got to crane my neck to kind of see it. So it would be better to rotate these photos so they're all one direction. When someone's looking at these, they don't have to move their head around or their phone around at all. And so that, that's my suggestions there on your photos. Now, looking at this keyword, you've got one good keyword here. And let's pop this in here. Fall embroidered table runner, 3,225 results. Okay. And see, this is what I was saying earlier, showing off a photo of it with the place setting. See, this, this is a great photo right here. And I can really get an idea of how the whole product looks because I see on the table, I see the setting and I see how wide it is. So that I really like. And I think that's a really good way to do it, to show off the whole product. Um, that's, that's a photo I think is so desirable and so important to have on it. But also I would really just recommend fall embroidered leaves table runner 
Yours has the one keyword, but I think you can get a few more in there. You know, we've got fall, table runner, um, autumn. That's the second one right there, all autumn table runner. Uh, we have Thanksgiving table runner. Um, and there you go, right there. You've got you've got two additional keywords that you can target for this product that you you're not targeting right now. You can do um, fall holidays um, table runner. If there's other words, I know I'm pretty sure there's other words for Thanksgiving. Um, I don't know. I don't know what other people call it if they don't call it Thanksgiving. I'm not sure, um, but you know I would highly recommend optimizing a few more additional keywords there. So like this, Debbie says, like the suggestions, look at my pillow or towel items, please. All right, Debbie, let me pull these up for you and check them out. Pillow or towel items. So we've got these ones, these cute little birds here. We've got some cardinals. So we've got guest towels. See, there we go. This one, you've got a lot of keywords going on. So we've got guest towels, hand towel, finger towels, guest hand towels, uh, kitchen towels, bathroom towels, seasonal towels and cardinal towels. Okay. So these are all great keywords. Um, now, because this is such a bird related item, I would recommend getting some more um, bird keywords closer to the front. So you've got great keywords right here. Um, and if we go ahead and pop one of these in, let's go ahead and search guest towels. I'm assuming this is going to be a pretty big keyword, 13,996 results. Now you could do, I think, bird hand towels. Let's check that one, bird hand towels, 2,441 results. So I would recommend getting a few more of those bird keywords in there because I don't actually see bird in your listing title anywhere. Yeah, there's no bird keywords in here. Now, cardinal towels, that's another great keyword. Um, and honestly, because... Hand towels is such a big keyword, 14,000 results. I think you actually would almost be better off starting with uh, a keyword like this one right at the very front because it has great, great amount of search volume, 2,400 results. And uh, and it's a really, it's bird hand towels is a lot more relevant to your product because yours is all about birds. So I think putting bird hand towels at the beginning would be even better, would be even stronger than just doing cardinal towels. And that would allow you to get in front of more of the right customers, you know? Um, you know, let's, let's say if I'm just searching hand towels, um, I'm, there's just going to be so many people looking for so many different styles. Um, you know, my mom would probably think these were so cute, uh, but me personally, I probably wouldn't, you know, buy something like this. So if I'm searching for guest towels, I would be leaning something towards the solitary colors or something like that. Now, bird hand towels. Let's also try that cardinal towels. Let's see what that one is. 881. So that is I think probably the best keyword for your product. It's laser targeted. It's extremely specific. You're priced nice and competitively. You know, look at this one right here, $24 for these ones. Um, wow, $48 for these ones. $48 for these hand towels. It's a paper, reusable paper towel. Well, amazing. $48 set of 12. So you have a beautiful product, super cute. And I think you're targeting slightly wrong keywords because you're targeting the broadest keywords possible up here with guest towels. So that's, that's my suggestion. Move these keywords, cardinal towels, all the way up to the number one spot and then hit cardinal towels, um, bird towels, red bird towels, and keywords like that. And then go down into the, uh, you know, seasonal towels even would be more relevant than hand towels. It'd be, it just be more narrowed to your product and it would be more relevant. So looking through these though, you've got some cute photos, some nice photos. Um, again, I don't see any photo of it actually being displayed. Like a kitchen is such a beautiful place. It's such a gorgeous setting. People love to make their kitchens look pretty. So if you can stage this in a kitchen, you know, on a stove with some nice cute things going on, if we go over here and look at, um, you know, this is an example. These people put their, there's on a kitchen handle. So you can see what that is. Now that maybe these aren't for the kitchen. I'm not sure if they're for kitchen or for the bathroom. A bathroom is a beautiful place too, though. You can really make the bathroom look nice. People love looking at photos of the bathroom. 
But the more you can stage it then and make it a little bit prettier, you know, this is a, a nice looking image right here. Very pretty. We've got some, some leaves going on. We've got some lavender, just a few things to make it look nice. So that would be my next big suggestion for yours is to just stage it a little bit more, show it off a little bit more, make it look pretty. You know, you could hang it on the wall and put a little, like, like a photo next to it to kind of show off how beautiful this bathroom is. Um, you know, maybe put some like a little vase with some flowers coming out of it, uh, some stuff like that. Whatever it is that you can do to just bring a little bit more beauty, a little bit more emotion and life and vibrancy into the photo and stage it so that people can easily visualize how pretty this is going to look inside their home, the better. That's how you sell it. That's how you get people to really fall in love with your product. So I hope that was helpful, Debbie. And